Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Throwing on the first play from scrimmage, here's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Burrow looking to pass. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. The numbers a week ago for Chase. Three catches, 53 yards, and a touchdown. Having a nice season. Number eight in the league in receiving yards, and not just making his team happy, but anyone who's picked him in fantasy football. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Second down and three. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Again, it's Mixon. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now they go play action now. Burrow firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game, like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master surgeon at work. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. On second down and four. Burrow, his pass caught at the four. And the Bengals are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Mixon is into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now it's Watson. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. The numbers for Njoku from a week ago, well up over 100 yards, and one of those catches found his way into the end zone. I do think he'll be hard-pressed to duplicate those numbers this week, though, because he's gotten their attention, so they will double him on every snap at a minimum. In some cases, they'll triple him. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. The Browns at six and one now through seven weeks of the season. They had their six-game winning streak snapped a week ago, but still, it's a team that's playing pretty darn well. And like the old song says, accentuate the positive. And I think that's exactly what this team's going to do. If you've won six in a row, you know you're doing something right in the NFL. So I don't think the one loss is really going to discourage them. On the move to his left. That is caught left side by Bryant. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. They go with Chubb on second down. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Seven yards there and a first down. 
Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again is Watson, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 20-yard line. From the red zone now, Watson. Wide open, Amari Cooper. Touchdown! Amari Cooper, his second touchdown on the season. And the Browns are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Extra point by York is up and good. And we are tied at seven. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Joe Mixon and the Bengal offense ready to go back to work. Last week, a strong showing up over 100, also two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week you'd sign up for. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's going to try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. And a quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. This, the second meeting of these two teams. You might recall they met back in week five. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. On second and ten. Burrow, he'll drop this one down to mix it. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Again, it's Burrow. He completes it to Boyd. And he's going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And now one yard to go on third down. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here as they've got it with a third down coming up. Slam pass to Boyd. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 27-yard line. Burrow will throw. And he will find his man Chase complete. Touchdown, Bengals! Jamar Chase, 27 yards, and the Bengals have taken the lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. And their dreams of an undefeated season shattered with the loss a week ago. Now look, whenever an undefeated team goes down, you always hear 
Some say, well, they needed that. I don't know, Charles. Is that a narrative that you buy into? Well, I haven't met a coach yet that feels like they needed that loss. You know, that's not something that they're in favor of. But I do know this. People like us, our colleagues, all of us in the media, constantly hammering a team that's undefeated. Hey, do you think you can do it the whole season? Can you carry it the whole way? That does wear down a group. And sometimes that loss, get us off your back, you can move forward from there. Throwing on third down, Watson. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Bengals set to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Here's Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon, and he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. Blitz coming and down he goes. Jacob Phillips. Able to use that strength to get him for a loss of two. Second and 12, operating from the 39. Another try after the first down sack. Burrow, and incomplete. You know, he's been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. A good pick up there, 22. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And points result, we'll call this play significant. First down, here's Burrow. And this is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Mixon running wide side. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 50 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Back to Mixon on first down. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. A great play there with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bengals go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 
Cleveland offense making their way out. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Offensively, they're just not playing a very clean football game right now. This deficit, there's a fumble. Good news for them, at least. That went out of bounds. You're exactly right. And as they breathe a sigh of relief, you know they're looking at the scoreboard, thinking to themselves, if we turn it over there, things could really get rough for us trying to make a comeback in this game. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Watson now to throw. Over the middle of Murray Cooper, it's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down trey hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time to try again after the sack watson looking left side and he's got a man that's brian and he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down Inside the 40. It'll be a gain of five. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Back to throw, Watson. That's complete to Peoples Jones. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Watson will step away, and out comes Kate York to handle this fourth down field goal try for the Browns. York able to send this one through, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you, you didn't jinx him. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Bengals drive about to get going. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Now Burrow. Open man is Higgins. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. So we've reached halftime. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL. This will be fielded inside to five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now it's Watson. The bootleg steps away. Throw left side caught by the tight end to Joku. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Faking the give. Now Watson sliding out of the pocket. Looking right sideline. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time. Now a gain of 20 here. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Watson out to his left. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Watson looks to throw again. Rolling to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Here's Watson. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me, what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now it's Burrow. This pass complete to Higgins. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Mixon with a first down carry. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Second and five now. Burrow. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now it's Burrow. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Jeremiah owusu koromoa able to record his fifth sack of the season. Throwing on second and long. Burrow, throw left side complete to Chase. Touchdown! Jamar Chase with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Flushed out right. Got a man here, it's Brian. And he's tackled at the 38, but they doubled their yardage. The play started at the 19, and they gained 19. Watson on first down. Again to Bryant, and again it's caught. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 44 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. On first down, Watson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Watson. Dancing to his left. 
And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. And this is incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking to stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Again, it's Watson. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. So he got nine yards that time, but he needed ten, and it brings up fourth and one. Cade York on now for the field goal from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. York able to send this one through, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So that may be not exactly what they were hoping for, but it does get them back within a couple of scores. And at this point in the third quarter, you don't have much margin for error, and that means you can't have drives that end with nothing. Whether it's a punt, a turnover, a turnover on downs, those have to go away. You have to end with a kick, either a field goal or an extra point after a touchdown. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. <laughs> on second and two, Burrow. Here's Higgins out on the right side. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. They're passing here. Joe Burrow got a man open. It's Chase. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's second and a yard. Now back to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 48-yard line. Throwing again, it's Burrow. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32, a play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. Looking to pass. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. From the 25 on second down. Burrow, he'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. It connects quickly to Jamar Chase. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. Running left, it's Mixon. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. 77 yards rushing here for Mixon. He's got a first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon, and he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown of the night, and the Bengals are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. very wide. 
wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in. Touchdown, Browns! Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper with his second touchdown of the night. And the Browns have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, give that water break and get on out there and play. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He gets this one to Boyd. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. They'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 43. They'll look to throw here. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Now Burrow on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Hey, 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 hey. To the air again, Burrow. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bengals have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. But they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Desperation time, Watson on fourth down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. 
Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Browns drive about to get started. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cakes. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Well, CD, you understand what they were thinking there, obviously. They're down big, just looking for anything to grasp onto. But what happens is they throw the pick six, the lead gets even bigger, and that kind of feels like the exclamation mark on a very impressive victory here. And that's where you can see things really start to snowball, right? A lot of mistakes being made. They're down big. Now they're trying to get back into it. That gives those defenders more opportunities to take advantage of even more errant throws and extend this big lead. And the Browns getting set to go. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The offense on third down tonight? They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and ten. He's going to look deep down the field. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked by Logan Wilson. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road and help seal away one of their best efforts of the season. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. 93 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Once again, they run with Mixon. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Mixon trying to punch it in. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they